It is a giant one. Oh, it's way better than it was last week. Whoa. Okay. It's time to start digging skates and stuff out for sure. Smooth right now. Sketched out. Big moose. Getting angrier. Now, if we jump off the roof. There she goes. You can never know what can happen. Things are going on, you know. Yeah, here she comes. That was pretty close. I think the ice is pretty solid too. And obviously there's been lots of people on it this week. But I always figure, until you know for sure for myself, it's best that we don't stand too close to each other so that our weight is all distributed in different parts of the ice. And if we start to hear sounds of ice making sounds, then we determine what those sounds mean. But I think we're good. That's just me being wilderness safe guy like I always am. One time I went through the ice, uh, some distance from mom's house, and I was smart enough to feel when it started to go. And I threw my arm sort of out to get my weight. And I sort of ended up going through only up to my waist that way. I was half on the ice. And I managed to do the army crawl out. For, and I stayed in the army crawl for some time until I felt I was on safe, safe ice again. It's shady on this side of the lake most of the day. So the crusty surface didn't really thaw and freeze like it did on the north side of the lake did it yeah the reason i want to come to shore on this spot as opposed to deeper in this cove is because if there's any water that's moving off the mountain like little creeks and stuff it'll be in that spot right there right which means that's where the ice will be the weakest and the highest chance of open water right near the shore will be and it's like when you're two feet from shore and you go through up to your knees it sucks Yo, know, that's another good example. There's a nice little cloud bank there. And in behind it, up higher, see those little speckles? Yeah. Aha. That's some indicators that our weather change is coming. <laughs> All kinds of solid. Good testing. Nice experiments. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm okay. Here's been the prince of probably a dreaded moose. Why is it dreaded? Ooh, the moose. The moose. Oh my gosh, it's the moose. Oh, the moose. I get it now. The moose. Hey, can he come? I don't like this yeah. section of ice suddenly. So I get off of it. Yeah. Let's spread out. Spread out. The ice settling. That was yeah, it was weird. That's also scary. It's like a monster underneath us. And I just keep spread out just in case, but I think we're more than good. It makes weird noises and stuff. Like a whale. Yeah. Let's go this way and keep spread out. Okay. That was something I do recall as well when I went through that ice by mom's house was as I went I threw the camera I had in my hand that's why I was out on the ice it was the best place to take nice pictures of trees and deers and stuff and uh, I threw the camera in a good direction to the right place and then I crawled through it and in the process of throwing it I found myself flat out instead of through uh, ice is very safe in the jacket clubs today evidently uh, I did in that corner feel like uh, I didn't like how it felt for a second. I said, I don't like this, let's get out of this corner. And then the ice did start to shift and made a bunch of weird noises, but uh, ice does that. It, so be prepared for that, even when it's solid, uh, as it contracts and expands through the course of a winter, 
develops cracks and and uh, pressure holes and lots of weird things. So when Glenn was alive, he had this cabin here for a long time till it burned down just across the lake here. And uh, it was crazy because all winter long he would cross the ice and even in the spring when he couldn't uh, put his boat in yet, he would make sure to uh, have ladders from the shore to the safe part of the ice. And he would cross this ice and I seen him rowing his boat across right before a really severe thunderstorm was coming in over the hill. And uh, I seen him riding his bike to shore right in time. And I was like, dude, this place burned down. He later on died and it was just over here. Yo, Ken, you better protect us from that stump. Yeah, I get it. It's a bad stump. Yeah. Had no good stump. Oh, no. Oh, I see it. That's what's left of the life Glenn had here. There's even a cross here. I forget who it's for. If it's for him or not. Mark Packer. October 25th, 1981. Yeah, not much left now. Imagine that. Old Glenn crossed that ice all the time. And people said he was crazy. And uh, yeah, he was. He was awesome. Hey, Waylon, yeah. what was crazy? Um, I thought there was actually nothing left of the house. There's just walls. And a door with no door. That's crazy, eh? Yeah. Good boy. Here. Here, Ken, bring it here. Hey, bring it here. Bring me the stick. Come on, bring me the stick, you. That's good boy, bring it here. Yeah. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Okay, ready? Ready? Good boy. Bring me a stick. Oh, good boy. I would just like the world to know how thankful I am to my patrons and supporters. Thank you, everybody. Yes. Yes, bring me oh, a stick. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it. There you go, he brought it right to you. Oh, you didn't take it. I no, love ice. Give it. Oh, Ken, bring me a stick. <laughs> Try this, Ola. Give me a stick, you. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. This is fun. There we go. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>